Now we turn to a man who's preserving the past by growing the future. Tonight we head out to Clinton County, Iowa, and an old farmhouse you'll have to seed to believe. When planting a seed, the bigger picture takes time to appear. What might seem small grows into something larger than itself. We list all 2,900 of them. Like this old farmhouse, which has outgrown its original purpose. This was a bedroom, yes. And then I put in, you can see my fancy carpenter work. It's just perfection beyond belief. Glenn Drowns has converted every room in this house. This is the old kitchen when we used to live here, yes. And he needs the, the space, cupboard. an old farmhouse filled to the brim with living history. There's 600 and I think 76 varieties in the collection that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for me. 2,950 jars complete Glenn's collection. Each one filled with the seeds of a unique plant variety. And it's really important that they're put away alphabetically because if you go to look for something and you don't find it, it's like a monster. From peppers to peas, corn and eggplants, watermelon, tomatoes, and everything in between. We would have green beans, and then this is wax beans. These are purple potted beans. Each one planted and harvested by Glenn every single year. Well, we try to preserve them to make sure that they're still here for generations to come. After harvesting, the seeds live on the shelves, but their history lives in Glenn's mind. That was given to me in 1990 by a lady. Out in the kitchen, thousands of seed packets sit ready to be shipped out to customers. Like here's perpetual Swiss chard. There's three packets left. That means we've already sold two since we filled it last. But and just like just before, there's a bigger picture here. Oh, but he said the flavor on this one is fantastic. In the basement of Glenn's current house sits his sweet potatoes. So I probably will hit 300 sweet potato varieties before 2025. Tubs of all varieties, flavors. Oh, there we are, purple Peru. And colors. The most ancient in his collection. It's Morado de Yucatan goes back 3,000 years to Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. But this one, if we bust it open, is white inside. It's backbreaking work from planting through harvest. But it all started with a little of Glenn's own history. I think it goes back to when I was in like second grade. So that would have been in 1968 when I had saw it. Said, was this what the world's going to look like in 2000? And it showed this big, giant sewer dump, you know, gas, people wearing gas masks and all that. It was then, looking at a 1968 magazine cover, that Glenn began planting the seeds for his own future. I knew I was never going to be able to buy enough land to save all of the butterflies and the, you know, the different birds and things. But what I do, what I could, and something I can do is save seeds. So that is where the genetic preservation part comes in. Seed by seed jar by jar. It's a lesson Glenn hopes lives on long after he's gone. So the bigger picture to this story might be in the tiniest objects. Try to do something that you can on your scale. Even if it's in a backyard, you can do something in your yard you can plant that will help keep our natural environment a better place. After all, growing anything starts by planting the seed. Christmas Day, I usually don't. And believe it or not, what you just saw isn't even Glenn's full-time job. This year marks 40 years of teaching science at the Calamus Wheatland School District.